all right guys so in this video we are going to start working on this dashboard okay so as you can see there are many things going on here so uh, there are many uh, side menu also we don't need all these things okay so we will remove this and we will uh, add whatever we want okay so in short we are going to only use the my orders tab and edit profile tab and the change password and the logout tab okay so i think that's enough for this project okay so uh, first of all let's change this okay so let's edit this page so let's go to this uh, dashboard so if you see the dashboard here in the in the templates accounts and we have this dashboard.html right so right now uh, in the aside tag we have all these uh, uh, list items right so you see uh, this is the ul right so what i'll do i will create a new file inside this includes i'll create a new file called dashboard dashboard sidebar dot html okay i'll create this new file and just cut this content okay and put it here okay so i'll save this now if you refresh there is no uh, sidebar here okay so of course we are going to use the sidebar but what we'll do we will uh, we will actually include this sidebar okay includes includes slash uh, dashboard uh, underscore sidebar dot html okay so now if you refresh okay invariant block include okay so that's a, a wrong spelling this is include okay now if you refresh that sidebar is here now okay so uh, in this sidebar we will edit okay so for now what we need we need the dashboard dashboard and we need my orders and we yeah. edit profile so for the edit profile we are going to uh, create a new user profile okay because uh, right now uh, we have the we have only one model that is uh, the user model right account model so in that account model we don't have many things uh, about the user right we we only have like first name last name phone number and all those stuff so in the in the in the new model we are going to create uh, that's a user profile model so we will be having a address of that user and profile picture of that user city state country and all those stuff we are going to store okay so we'll do that uh, uh, maybe in the uh, in the next video but before that we'll uh, we'll first uh, uh, make this okay i'll say next we need change password okay so that's uh, enough that's enough okay now if you refresh my orders edit profile and change password okay so we'll we will uh, edit this one also i'll go to this uh, uh, here so first thing uh, this is the header right so the header uh, we don't need this uh, uh, maybe we can say logged in as then the username okay so i will print user dot full name this should yeah you logged in as what is this nine okay so remove and we have this logged in as Ratan. all right uh, in this area we don't want all these things we will remove that so, um, first of all i'll delete this table we don't need this table i'll also delete this view okay so what is remaining now so we have this 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 things remaining i will delete this row all right i'll delete this div and i'll also delete this div 
okay so now we have this uh, blank dashboard all right so in this uh, we, we we are going to uh, make a card okay so we'll, we'll put a, a you know a bootstrap card i will make a do with the class of call md uh, 6 okay and i will also make a class of uh, you know do with the uh, with the card card class and do with the card body card hyphen body now i'll say h5 h5 and i'll say total orders i'll give this h5 a class class is equal to card title okay and with this i will say h4 maybe 100 so this is a static value i uh, will make it dynamic in a while so i'll also give a href mm, let's say view orders okay i'll refresh let's see how it all right we have this card and we uh, in the left side and uh, on the right side we will actually print the uh, you know user image and and his email address and the phone number okay i'll i'll just copy this i'll copy this and paste it here so now this is we don't want this okay so we don't want this as well we don't want uh, anything here okay so first of all i'll just uh, uh, search for one prod, you know user avatar avatar w3 schools okay in w3 schools i saw some avatars so now you can see i'll copy this okay i'll copy a this link okay for now because right now we don't have any profile picture right so that's why i'm making this uh, dummy uh, uh, you know dummy link inside this source i will push the uh, uh, you know i will paste this avatar and alt alt will be user profile picture and width equal to 50 height equal to 50 let's make a inline css of um, border radius 50 percent 50 percent so that the image will will be a rounded shape okay so now we have this round shape image we will also put uh, inside this p tag i'll put the email address okay user let's say user dot email and user dot phone number now if i refresh okay uh, i got the email address and phone number so uh, i'll remove this gap in here i'll give a class margin bottom zero refresh okay all right so i want this uh, this text and this content to be uh, center aligned so what i'll do i will okay for this card i'll give a style text align center the same code i'll copy and i'll paste it here all right so so i think that's enough uh, for this dashboard okay so and this 100 is now the static number right we need to make it uh, dynamic 
so we will go to we will go to this accounts and views so we have a function called dashboard here now if you uh, come here we have a function called dashboard so in this dashboard we are going to uh, see uh, you know uh, take the number of uh, products uh, this person has ordered okay i'll say order orders is equal to order dot objects dot order by order by uh, iphone created at um, dot filter we'll filter it with the user id is equal to request dot user dot id also is uh, is ordered is equal to true okay so now we will take the order count orders underscore count is equal to orders dot count all right so now we will make a context context is equal to orders count colon orders count all right now let's pass this context inside this dashboard so now we can we can access this orders count so instead of this 100 i will make uh, make it dynamic now refresh all right order is not defined so we need to define it here okay um, from from orders dot models import order now refresh all right we have only one order so that's why it is showing one okay so uh, i think uh, let's stop this video for now in the next video we'll take care of this my orders okay so thank you